Hello guys, so today I'm going to talk about feeling God's love and not feeling your disappointments, not feeling your shame, not feeling your guilt, not feeling your sorrow, not feeling any hurts that you may have in your life. So I myself too, we need all need to trust God. When guilt, shame, and struggles come along your way, just let it go. You know, you can't control what's going to happen next. You know, only God can control everything. You can't see 10 years from now. You can't, you can't just just let it go. Trust in God, rest in his love and his guidance, and he'll deliver you, you know. Uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean onto your own understanding and all your ways and all your sin, and he will direct your paths. You can't, you, you don't know, you know, the things you do today. You got to worry about today, you know. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. You know, all that stuff is, is already passed. Yesterday already passed. You know, tomorrow, you're not even there yet. Just trust in God. When difficulties come your way, just trust in God. You know, even we have to, even though we have all these anxieties and problems in this world today, you know, we can't make it better. We're just humans. What could we do? We're going to make it worse. But when we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, he's going to make it better because he's the only way. You know, we can't do it ourselves. That's why when we try to do it ourselves, we have we become prideful and thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm a, we have so much anxiety. I'm going to fix the anxiety by making it better, by doing something even worse that I think is right, but it's even bad and it's not getting better. I'm going to try to make this problem uh, work myself, but it's just you're just digging yourself way deep in the pile of the mud. And God wants us to be free from all that. He wants to deliver us just like the Israelites in Egypt. He wants to free us from bondage, from sin, from all this, this disease and this contamination. He wants to take all that stuff out. And he just call, He just tells us to trust in him. He has a purpose for us. But when we're trapped in our own disappointments, our own guilt, you know, everything that's not godly, that's that we think of, you know, the, everything that's evil, when we're trapped in that, then how could God deliver us from that when we're not trusting in him? We're not giving it to him. We're taking it, we're taking control of ourselves. We're trying to fix it on ourselves. And God could see potential in our lives and he has a purpose for us, but we're not giving it to him. We're holding all this this stuff in our hearts. And we're not and he can't do anything with it because we're not letting it go. We're not giving it to him. First Peter 5 7. Cast all your worries on me because I care about you. I care for you. Cast all your anxieties on me because I care for you. He cares for us and he provides us with a hope in the future. But first, we got to let all that sin, we got to let all that stuff, we got to let it go. We got to give it to God. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He already, fit, what he did on the cross already paid for all your sins. So you, when you sin, if you fall short, you don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to, you know, say, oh man, I messed up. Like, man, like, like God doesn't love me no more. No, he loves you. He loves you so much. You know, Romans 8, 38, 39. It says, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall separate, uh, shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So when you fall short, don't let that hold you down. Jesus Christ loves you so much, and he knows we're not perfect, but he knows that, you know, by him going to the cross, he could erase, he could erase everybody, all bodies, all bodies in this world, everybody in this world. It doesn't matter who you are. Jesus could erase your sins. You know, God loves you so much. And, you know, we got to let, we just got to be, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. So when we see things happening in front of us and we're like, man, how can, how can I get out of this situation? This is, it's like what I'm in right now is I can't pay my bills. You know, I lost a loved one. You know, this guy's angry or this girl's angry at me. How can I get out of this situation and make it better? You can't. You can't make it better on yourself. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's only through Jesus you could get through it. You can't do anything yourself. You got to give it to God. And I'm learning that too for myself, you know, by me having anxiety and all this stuff, you know, like I'm learning to trust God more because it just makes it worse. You know, I just can't like why have anxiety and anxiety, and anxiety, and anxiety when God knows that Jesus Christ is a prince of peace. He's the one that that put, that gives me true peace. He's the one that he's the one that calms your mind. You know, he's the one he said, he's don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding regards your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. 
So we got to learn how to um, take all those thoughts and give it to Jesus and just live like a live, live so free, like a feather, you know, in Jesus, like no attachments, no, nothing on, nothing that's on top of you that's holding you down, no weights, let all that go. And then when you really, and surrender your life to Jesus, be dead to sin and lie to Christ. When you do that, when you give it all to Christ, when you surrender your whole life, you're going to be more free. You're going to be more peaceful you're gonna feel more peace feel more love you're gonna you're gonna be a bright light you know a shiny star that that god calls you that will last forever you know you're gonna you're gonna when you guys learn how to do that trust in jesus then your whole life will change you know you're not gonna be the same person you may have the same tendencies that may go back but your whole nature will change you you know your whole spirit everything will be new you know, God wants a, a new, he wants us to be new and not old, like in the past. He wants to give us new stuff, new life, you know, everything. He wants, he loves us. He provided, he gives us a hope and future, but we can't go, we can't, you know, go that way if we don't have our faith and trust in Jesus. We got to allow him to direct our past. We got to allow him to um, bring us to the higher rock. We got to allow him to get us to the promised land because Jesus is the only way we have to follow and allow him to direct our paths. Let go of pride, let go of selfishness, you know, let go of anything that you think it's good. Let it all go because it's bad. And just letting you guys know, that's exactly what the enemy is trying to do. He's trying to um, make you feel guilty of your sin. He may, he's trying to make you feel like you're not worth enough or are you not love? He's trying to put you down and saying you're a failure, but you're not a failure. You're a conqueror in Jesus Christ. So that's another thing. When, when you start feeling guilt and shame, all that stuff, rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus because that's the enemy. You know, the enemy's trying to put, like, try to, like, take you away from Jesus. You know, read your word. I got to read my word more. Read your word. Word, because it has new stuff in the word. You know, you find everything. You find new things. It's not the same. You may um, read the same passage, but... It may be a new meaning to you, you know, that's in your life right now that you're, that you're going through, you know, every something in the Bible is always something new you read that you're like, wait a minute, that's happening right now. Like, that's what I got to do, you know, so just we just got to be strong in Christ. You know, we got to be strong in Christ. We can't do it ourselves. We are weak. We, you know, like David and Goliath, you know, David couldn't fight that giant by himself. He needed Jesus. He needed God. He's the strength. He's our strength. He called on the name of the Lord. We got we got to call on the name of the Lord for our, fighting our giants because we can't fight our giants ourselves. You know, we need Jesus. We desperately need Jesus. Bro, God loves you so much. Accept Jesus with a pure heart and you will be saved. God bless you guys. In Jesus' name.